Out here in the quiet of the hill country, something is causing quite a ruckus. The peaceful music of birds singing and brooks babbling has been joined by the sounds of saws and soldering irons. But to the residents of this area, it's not unusual at all. Fact is, it's been going on for some 20 years now, and there's no end in sight. The wonderful thing about all the people working here, they're all good friends. They work together well. We look at things and talk about things together, come up with ideas. And we have some wonderful people right from this area who are creating so much of this architecture. And I'm grateful that uh, our local friends here are helping with all of this work too. This here is a, a base for what we call a super crocket, which is gonna be mounted on the peak up there. It has a, another ornamental deal that decorates it up. And uh, we just cut it out to fit the pitch of the roof. Man, our little ornaments on there. Most of the things around we, we date and uh, put our name in within maybe 40, 50,000 years from now, somebody tear it down, see who made it. This joint effort between a man with a dream and the town of Round Top is called Festival Hill. It's a music hall in the making. Back in 1968, James Dick strolled into this tiny town with his grand piano in tow. 27 years and a lot of work later, he has 120 acres of buildings and grounds devoted to making beautiful music. Every year, he brings world-renowned musicians here to play and students here to learn. Its purpose is educational. We have remarkable young musicians coming from all over the world to study here. We have a growing audience coming from all over this part of the country and abroad to see this place. When students, musicians, and fans all converge here, this place is somehow transformed. A dream is realized, and the people of the tiny town of Round Top can sit back and enjoy this monument to music, knowing they helped to create it. should do things beyond ourselves. And to be able to work in a project like this is a great thrill and a great opportunity. And I have deep gratitude to be able to do it. But I can't do it by myself. That's why you see all these people helping, working together. But I do think we need to see things, particularly as we are so close to the 21st century, of things that can live beyond ourselves and that will hopefully inspire people for many, many, many years and decades. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.